brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. In a 26-page decision Wednesday, federal judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood held that a native inhabitant-only vote would be unconstitutional. She ruled in favor of plaintiff Arnold Dave Davis, a non-native, who challenged his exclusion from voting. The governor proposes that a vote still be held for all residents, but with separate ballot boxes for natives and non-natives. Commission on Decolonization Director Ed Alvarez says he is trying to get together an emergency meeting. The most important thing we've got to remember right now is we all have to stick together. Um, this case was lost because it, it was just unconstitutional. It's, it's not time to point fingers at anybody. It's time to stand together and think together and figure out how to get around this one way or another. Alvarez says the commission is still prepared to hold a vote at the next general election in 2018 and will continue its educational campaign. Senators like Republican Tommy Morrison are disappointed but agree it should move forward. It's important that each respective task force um, work even harder to educate our people and use every communication tool out there to um, enlighten our folks, bring much needed awareness. And most importantly, that it will be enough uh, to get our people out to participate in this very important process. Meanwhile, Attorney General Liz Barrett-Anderson is reviewing the ruling for a possible appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The AG said she was not surprised by the decision, but was hoping the court would recognize the vote is a political statement and that only Congress can make a status change. Voters are to decide on one of three options, statehood, free association, or independence. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.